Hi, this is your host, Sapin Bharti, and welcome to TFR Insights. And today we have with us Archis Gur, CTO of Polyverse, to talk about um, uh, Polyverse's work with ArtSight around, once again, ZeroTech. Uh, Archis, first of all, it's great to have you on the show. Of course, thank you for having me. Can you tell me what is ArtSight? Yeah. Um, so ArcSight is a is a security uh, incident management tool. It's called a SIM, um, and security event and incident management. Um, and so, what at, at a very very high level, ArcSight can be thought of as a as a log monitoring tool. But that's not being fair to ArcSight because it's a lot more. Um, and I, I I gained a lot more respect for ArcSight uh, as I did this integration. So I, I understand it even more deeply. It's it's more than just logs. Um, it is curated events that they collect from multiple sources. They're, they're these things called connectors. And, and really what it is, is a consolidated um, data gathering tool about events, incidents, random things happening, logs, right, across an organization. It's, it's beyond just a fleet or a group of servers or a cluster. It's really across an organization, so you can you can really collate something like someone used a password wrong four times uh, with something that happened across the globe on a you know on a mobile phone that was completely unrelated, and they can all be uh, in one place. And and one thing that I want to call out that I gained an appreciation for, and I didn't know this before going in, is ArcSight um, curates the event format and the event fields from every single source. And we had to go through that process as well. But what that really means is when you when you think of collecting logs from random places, right? We, we tend to just throw some text out there. Some is JSON, some is CSV, right? Some is just plain text lines, whatever. Um, ArcSight, when, when they give you a partnership or a certification, it means they know every type of event you can emit, what each of the fields means, a documentation for each of those fields, and you get all of that when you get ArcSight. Is ArcSight a product, a service, a company? Um, it's a product. So the company is MicroFocus. Um, ArcSight is the product. And, you know, I, yeah, they, they, you, you basically buy it as a, as a product. And then they have a marketplace and they have associated services with it. Um, as well. I want to know, or will go a bit deeper into um, this, and that is the, what are the limitations of zero tech and how does kind of arc site, you know, help you overcome those limitations? Yeah. Um, okay. So the way zero tech fundamentally works and, you know, just a, a quick 10 second recap on the kinds of events it catches. And I mentioned before how zero tech conclusively um, detects events, which you cannot write a legitimate program uh, to do. I, I, I mean, it just can't. And one example of that might be if you have crashes in a program where your instruction pointer, that's where your processor is executing instructions, is off by four bytes uh, for a hundred times in a row. Um, you cannot write a program to do that. You cannot write a, a, a C program or even an assembly program where your, your program crashes four bytes offset uh, in the instruction pointer for a hundred times. Just not possible. Um, and so that's what zero tech looks for and then raises alarms on, right? Raises events on. Now it also gets those events out to you, but it also then emits these detected events. But what happens if an attacker conducts one attack on machine one, one attack on machine two, one attempt on machine three, one attempt on machine four? ZeroTech doesn't know that because ZeroTech always works individually on each of those machines. Um, where ArcSight comes in, makes that a game changer, is ZeroTech can, while it can detect one machine, ArcSight can take all of those raw events across all the you know, 50, 100, 1,000 machines, and it can say, hey, like this instruct, you know, these types of crashes are happening across my fleet and here's my offset. Someone is absolutely trying to code inject me. Um, and that's where that centralized view um, across not just a cluster, but even an organization can, can make ArcSight this crazy valuable um, 
just asset to have uh, that can help you make more sense of zero tech. Can you talk about the kind of partnership that you have between Polyverse and, of course, either ArcSight or Microfocus? Yeah, um, so ArcSight and Polyverse have been friends for a while. We've we've had our sort of friendship and collaborations go back, you know, four years um, back in the past, and we did, you know, a lot. We we uh, support Scramble Java, for instance, one of our polymorphing offerings that we have. Uh, we can support all of ArcSight running on a scrambled Java, which makes ArcSight itself much more secure to run. Um, but from that, today's partnership is about, um, we have this open source tool and we, we kind of built it and, you know, and it has some discipline around it. But uh, what we are now doing is we're, we're certifying that we can send these events to ArcSight, right? Which is, which is not the hardest thing in the world, but, the what is what is more valuable as i started off with is arcsight has looked at all the kinds of events we can emit all the fields that those events have what do those fields mean and that certification means when you run zero tech and you send those events to arcsight uh, you out of the box know that those events are parsable you can make sense of them you can analyze them you know what they all mean and you know how to work with them and that's a guarantee that that certification gives the customer, um, and that you know that was the the thing that the discipline that ArcSight brought to Zero Tech to to do that documentation and explanation. Archie, thank you once again for talking about ArcSight and Polyverse, and I look forward to talk to you again. Thank you. Thanks for having me. This was fun. <laughs> <laughs>